to Gay Area, the Bay Area's first gay stoner sibling podcast. This is one of your hosts, Allison here. And your other host, Daniel here. Hi, everyone. And today's podcast episode is for divas who want to hear about our dead friend, Willow Gray. Yep. And today marks one year since our friend passed away. And, you know, since it's, it's been a little bit of time... Um, we kind of just want to remember her for this episode. Yep. And, um, you know, when it happened last year, we didn't really talk too much about it. And, you know, I think that's fine. Like, whatever. Yep. But I'm like, I kind of want to celebrate my queen a little, you know? Let's celebrate her heart today. Yes. I Shall think we get, oh my God, do we have anything to drink? Um, no. Well, we have some vodka. Yeah. Not right now, though. Okay, fine. <laughs> it's so warm in here. I'm like, well, I'll start we should, dying. We should drink later for her. Yes. Definitely pour some out for her. I think she wants us to say her name about a million times. Maybe we should just go to Splash. I think that would make her smile. Uh, you think that would make her smile if we went to Spl- I think Splash? It, I think it would make her smile to know, see us shaking our ass at Splash. Yes. And I know she would have loved to go out to the club with me. Absolutely. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. She'd be dying to go. Yeah. Danny? Um... I miss that queen. <laughs> Let me start it out. You know, one thing about Willow in my phone, videos wise, always screaming. It's only videos of it, most videos. I get memories all the time. I'm dead. It's of um, not all the time, but when when I do, it is Camille. It starts with Camille <laughs> screaming, and then right behind is Willow walking up, whoa, 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 screaming, oh, oh, Shivani. Um, yes, many videos of that. Um, just always remembering her in such a great spirit. Always just, you know, being a diva. Um, one big thing for me and her was us being Leos. That was our connection. Um, Willow started a thing with us. Um, we would just, you know, push our heads together and scream Willow blood. Leo blood. Leo blood, Leo blood, Leo blood. So, you know, has to be skin to skin. (laughs) You Leo gotta feel blood. a little perspiration on the forehead, maybe too. Yep, yep. Swap but, some some fluids. But um, this upcoming August, I think of what sweat. I I'm gonna have to word. like severely, like severely be a Leo for her, and um, <laughs> try to find my Leos in in life, in life, and find my Willow in my Leos. There you um, go. Um, but. Yeah, severely miss that queen. Miss that queen. It really just feels like it's been no time at all. Yeah. Completely. But, um, you know, last summer it was really a huge shock, and um, I just miss her. Major. Miss the language. Um, I miss all the we – we need to start coming up with more words. <laughs> like, we've lost our vocabulary queen. I know. Like she even came up with pat leg. Yes. Wasn't she the one? She was the one who came up with pat leg. Because we sent videos. Remember. We sent videos of the pat leg, and she was like, "Oh my god, pat leg!" Yeah, she definitely started saying. She it. texted me pat legs. Like that was <laughs> that was like the last verbiage I think we got from her was pat leg. Wow, that's crazy. Oh my god. I, I wonder how many I could name. Like how many different things? Ooh, you should try it. Let's see. I'll keep count. <laughs> Okay, so, I mean, as any friend group goes, you know, like, there's you know, certain sayings and language. Just like the TikToks that have been going around. Yeah, like the ones where, you mean the trend where they they have, like, a Yeah, those are dumber, though. Ours are, ours are better. Ours are just, like, actual, like, funny just words. <laughs> I don't know, but, like, just Willow was the queen of coming up with a new language, but then also, like, using it, you know? Yeah. Like, it's one thing to, like, say something funny, but it's another thing for, it like, to last and like have meaning and yep. hold space in my brain. Yep. Um. And there's far too many. I mean, obviously she's not the only one. Like there's all of our like little group like kind of help built it all t- together. But you, Cami, Willow, Ty, you guys all. <sighs> yeah. Were, you guys definitely. Made it. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Us and you, and you, Kyle too. You all the sisters. All the sisters. All the it. sisters. Yes. Yeah. Um. Okay. I don't even know where to start, but like. Shivani, switch to flip. Um, 
Shiva, 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 and Shiva, Shivani were Shiva different. Shiva and Shivani, ones. yeah. Um, I'm like, I feel like I'm on the spot. Mucho mango. <laughs> um, yes. Um, just give me a second. Give me a second. Flail. Yeah. Will you? <laughs> for it. Mm-hmm. Like good for it. Hey for it. <laughs> hey it. You'd be like, hey it. Hi. <laughs> um. Pat leg. Pat leg, of course. Um. What was Pendleton? <laughs> Pendleton. What's what Pendleton patterns? Um. I don't know. This isn't really as fun as or as cute as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> commence. Commence. <laughs> um, a lot of cream cheese. Oh, CC flail. Um, yeah, CC flail. Uh, who will? Who will? Um, I'm trying to think of the one that's. Um, who will Shiva switch for me? Do you ever? I found this the other day. I was I was trying to like think of something, and I literally like scratched my head, and I was like, wait. <laughs> Why a cartoon character? Like, what is going on? I don't. And do I that. just did it right now. No, I do not do that. You've never done that. You've never like been thinking like so hard, and then you just like scratch your head a little. I mean, maybe. Well, we'll look out for it because I want to know if that happens. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it helps, surely. Yeah. Well, there was just a lot. Um, way it's too so many hard. To remember. Yeah. It's, it's, it, I, if I wasn't I hope in front of them down somewhere, if I wasn't maybe. filming a podcast episode, I would be able to think of a lot more. Yeah. Um, but um, you know, it's been a year without her and without language, and you're right. I think um, we just need to start saying more things. Yep. Some we need, we need things. to make more group chats. Yep. She was queen of queen of group chats and like oh. keeping them alive. <laughs> and now let's just talk a little bit about how she died. Um. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Boom. Well, Queen was just a diva of, you know, substances and hanging out and being out. And I think just um, one night she was checked into this hotel by herself. And um, it was one year ago today. <laughs> and she never checked out. Um, and she never checked out. <laughs> I, um, I'm so sorry. We are so unserious. <laughs> it's so terrible. Stop. Stop. It's not a joke. It's not a joke, but, um, you know, I just, like, can't help but think, like, she was, like, alone, you know, and, like, by herself. It's, like, so sad. And, you know, I, I don't think there's any, like, real, wor- real, like, conspiracy theories, like, to think about. But um, I'm, like, did anyone, like, really... <laughs> Like, check to make sure there was no foul play. Because I need to make sure my sister was not, you know, there was no funny business Girl, there. I would like to know, too. Because, um, I mean, like, her family like, never really said, like, how she died. I don't think. Like, at the funeral, like, they didn't say that at all. We should talk about the funeral. <laughs> I know. We should talk about the funeral. Her funeral was so... Did like, we not talk about the funeral? We probably did. Willow, Willow Patel. Patel. Well, to be honest, that was her last thing. That was her last right thing. There. But, like, she Absolutely. would hate it, though. She would hate it, though. She would hate that. Willow Patel. That's how, like, the, the like, minister man would say said her, name. her name every time. And she hated the last name Patel. She was never a Patel. She was not even Miller. She was Gray. <laughs> she, she, she had three different last names. Yeah, well, I think Gray was, like, her middle name. There you go. She went by Willow Gray. Yeah, I know. She hated Patel. Like, she hated hello. it. And then, and then Julie let that happen? The fuck, Julie? I know. The wedding. Uh, Julie Patel has died. Yeah, the minister me- messed <laughs> up the name, said Julie Patel has died. It and was insane. We're like, what's going on here? It was crazy. And everyone was dressed in black. All the CMT people. It was in. It was unreal. Yeah, just having to like see everyone was crazy and like. Crazy. Probably the last time I'll see like some of them. Unless someone imagine. else unless dies someone else dies room, yeah. anytime soon. I'm trying to think who but I'm like, like would be enough for us to go though. Cause like it made sense. <laughs> you know what I mean? You mean like anyone that we saw there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah there's yeah. a few people that there's a few. Like Kirsten. 
Yeah. I feel like I'd want to show up, but like. Yeah. Marcus. Yeah, Marcus. I'd be yeah, there. I'd be there. Katie. I'd be there. Which one? Redford. Oh. <laughs> or, oh, or, yeah. Or, I, ha- I have to yeah, be there for Katie. I'd be there for Katie. Yes. And they would all be there, too. So, yeah, you're right. And to, uh, but hopefully, like, that would have to be if it was, like, recent. So, sometime soon, though. I just hope, like, no one else dies. Oh, like, God. I hope not. Pleak, no. Oh, God. And then Justice. The Justice was crazy. Oh, justice. That's crazy. Someone else we know also died. I don't know him, but well, yeah. I don't really know him either. But no of. <laughs> but she was he was friends with Willow. Yeah. And um yeah, he's dead. So <sighs> add him to the list. Yeah. Girl, how do you think you're gonna die? Do you know like what 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 day do you think you wanna die? Uh I don't have the when I want to, but probably lungs is gonna take me out. <laughs> I think my lungs. <laughs> I'm dead. Wait, I'm just looking something up. Keep talking about your lungs. Uh, yeah, I'm like <laughs> trying to cut back on my nicotine. I haven't bought a device. I have been hitting a few kind of recently, mm-hmm. but I'm trying my best to cut that out. And I haven't been smoking any carts. That's for sure. Um, but the nicotine's harder. But I'm cutting. When that I out. was young, I used to think you die on your birthday, like for some reason. I don't know. Oh, that's wild. <laughs> Like, but I never thought about it, like, enough to, like... Question it. To question it. Like, it was just kind of like, oh, like... One day it'll be your one birthday day and you'll your, be dead. your death date is going to be, like, on your birthday. To make it all even. God, I was dumb. Yeah. S- still am a little. That. But, I mean, for me, like, if I had to pick a date to be dead on, um, my first choice would be my birthday. Because that'd be sickening. Right? I guess. I'm, mean, like, June 10th to June 10th, like... Oh, God. Our cameras might be overheating. It is. Okay, let's just carry on. And yes, and just pay attention. Like it no, it's flashing. <laughs> it's flashing. Uh, that's like on um, this car. Okay, well, what was I saying? Okay, yeah, so first day would be my birthday. Second, maybe like December 31st. Or like January 1st. That would look cool. I would want it to be like a or, month before a sickening date. Maybe like a month before Halloween. So then like maybe my, my funeral could be on Halloween or something. Ooh, Halloween would be good. A good day to die. Yeah. That too. I guess it could be a fun. Well, yeah. Why the day before? A month before. So the the funeral could be on Halloween. <laughs> you know? I'm not thinking about the funeral though. I'm just thinking about my forever. No, I'm thinking like, of the funeral too. Like headstone sort of deal. No, I'm thinking of the funeral. Also a date probably like April 25th. Because it's oh, not too hot and it's not too cold. Four, All you need is a light jacket. 420. That'd be perfect. Forever on my headstone. No. I wouldn't be interested in 420. Uh, maybe. Yeah. I still think Halloween is, would be really good. Or April 25th. Or June 9th. I wonder what Willow would have been. 69. That's Devin's birthday. Willow probably would have chose her birthday, too, probably. I was seeing that, too, yeah. I mean, it's sickening. August 1st? August 1st to August 1st. Can you imagine? So what else do you have to say about Willow? What else do I have to say about that queen? Well, I hope she is doing well in hell. You know, snorting lots of lines, getting fucked down heavy hard, and uh, just kicking it with Amy Winehouse or someone she looks up to. I don't know if... I, it's probably not wait, Amy Winehouse, but <laughs> someone's sickening down there. Um, I hope she's cursing her father's name. Or I'm dead. Um, um, I like to think, think she she's in a neutral, neutral area. Yeah, she was reincarnated to Trisha Paytas's <laughs> baby. <laughs> Which one, Malibu or no, Elvis? No, Elvis. We all know Malibu is is a, is a prince princess. That Queen Elizabeth. Queen Elizabeth. Queen. Queen. We all know that. So, yeah. I don't know. I feel like reincarnation's dumb because, like, girl. I would if, love reincarnation. If, I'm going to get reincarnated to, like, an earthworm? No. Thank you. No, I'm going to be another it human. Be, it needs to be, like, a top-level animal, okay? It needs to be, like, something Someone's that has, like, a, a brain. Time. Yes. Like a whale or something. Yes, like a whale or a bird or, like, a that tortoise. That sounds so scary, though, being a whale. I mean, really? Yeah. That sounds scary. Yeah, I probably don't. I don't want to be in the ocean. Being in the depths of the ocean. I absolutely want. I mean, like, obviously, top of the list, a house cat. (gasps) 
Yeah, I that's perfect. I need to be perfect. an indoor cat. Like, hello. Like in my butthole all day and taking naps. Living yeah, the that dream. that pretty fun. Sign me up. But I really don't think reincarnation's a thing. I think it's all black. They're just... Boom. I don't even want to talk about it. It scares me. Boom! Really? You don't want to talk about that it? That scares me severely. Okay. Um. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what else is there to say. Um, we're t- we are filming today literally on her one year. So that's why we were like, oh, let's talk about her a little bit. Mm-hmm. We should probably go visit her. TBH. I know. Yeah. Steal her ashes. Ooh. Go scatter them. Yes. Where she wanted to be scattered. Yes. <laughs> um. Yeah, but the funeral, we had a little after party or a little, what's that called? Ceremony. <laughs> Not the after party. I'm so sorry. Um, <laughs> what's it called? A reception? At, yeah. Uh, oh, this fat ass fly. Uh, uh, if you're going to be a fly, place. at least be skinny. I hate the big fatties. Had some wine, Ooh. had some beer, whatever. Then we Talk went to, to Julie. Her then mom. we went to the real actual after party at the park. Yes. That was the real celebration. We were slapping bags. At Willow Park. Smoking joints. You know, all just celebrating Willow at the Willow Park. It was really good. It was a real celebration of life. I wish she could have been there. And I wish she could have been alive. And we could have just celebrated her being alive. Yeah, for her birthday. Yes. Imagine all those people, like, actually hanging out at that time. Oh, like, for no reason at all? Yeah, for, like, her birthday or something. That would be be fucking insane. I go to Mercedes. Let's talk about some people who didn't show up to the funeral. Oh, Jack Bloom. Jack Bloom. He probably knew, though. Knew what? Because he already didn't like Ty at that point, right? Yeah, they were feuding heavy, so, I think. But um, but it was like a one-sided feud, kind of low-key. I'm sure. Um, <laughs> but, I I mean, I'm sure, like, why was there any reason to feud? Like, there was haven't none. Seen, yeah, exactly. There they haven't none. seen each other That's in why fucking years. It's one-sided. Jack-sided, yep. yeah. So, Idiot-sided. Yeah, he didn't show... Um, oh, there was a, there was somebody I was thinking, oh, like. Was the Davises there? Madeline, yeah. Yeah, she was. Huh? Yeah, Madeline. I almost just, that, I almost just um, said something shady. But I'm like, God, nah, there's really no reason to say that. Like, <laughs> um, Connie Kerm, I miss her. Oh, yeah, where the fuck I was she? I thought, like, she could have been there. Oh, also. Or uh, the Lebedenkos. What's her, what's his name? Peterson, Anthony Peterson. Where was he? He was there the next day. Oh, yeah, he was at the beach. Remember at the You're beach. You're right, he was at the beach. <laughs> I was like, no way, I remember seeing him. God, I miss Anthony Peterson. Um, Jack Bloom, not showing up. Yeah, it don't matter. But, David um, Hurley. He didn't true. really know her there that much. No, he definitely did. I can hung pi- out? Yeah. A lot? Okay. I can, like, picture them. I'm sure they have like plenty of p- photos taken together, which That's what is I'm talking about. <laughs> how I got gauge if you're actually friends with someone. Man, I barely take photos of people. Girl, you need to get in the habit of just taking a selfie. Yep. Hey, girl. Yep. Just a little, just a little of that. Okay. And if I, anything else comes up, I will. Damn, I'm, what's that I'm huge paragraph to... you got written? Oh, girl. You want to? Should I talk, start with the paragraph? Yeah. What the fuck is that? Okay. This most recent episode of Drag Race was full oh, that's of rigory have. and robbery to the highest level. And I think I'm the only one who sees it. Like, <laughs> everyone online. Why, you're searching on Twitter and you can't find everywhere, this? In? Everyone on Twitter and on, on TikTok, <laughs> like, everyone has such varying opinions, mostly, like, positive ones. And I'm just like, what was this last episode? Best musical ever? No, 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 no. Like, absolutely not. I mean, it was cute. There were it had its moments, but I literally had to go back and re-watch it because after I found out who won, because I was like, I wasn't even paying attention to them during the musical, and then they won the episode. So I made Allison watch the musical. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, and I should probably mention what season this is. This is All Stars 9? Yeah, 9. Um, And the Rusical, what was it called? Rosemary's Baby? Ugh, God, stupid. Nobody cares about Rosemary's Baby, first of all. I mean, 
So it was basically, it was about, the, the name was. It was, I was spoof on Rosemary's Baby. What the, what the fuck is that? It's like a, it's like an older horror movie where the woman is like, <sighs> has a pregnant devil. So you didn't get that Plastique's character. I did not realize bob. she was going to have a devil baby. Or not the bob, the, the pixie cut. Yeah. She what was do you mean she got pregnant? She had a baby in the whole, in the rusical. I wasn't paying attention to the baby. She literally. I knew she got pregnant. She remember she was like, I'm ovulating. I know, I saw it. I know she got pregnant. Yeah. And then she had the baby and it was in that little carriage. Remember the POV shot with like. Yes. The girls. Okay. So I made Allison watch it. Now, who do you think won the challenge? Two people. Who um, were your top? I already said Georges. Yeah. Georges I just already told the Georges one because. But <laughs> I knew they already edited, like, the edit too. They were showing her, like, so much. Yeah. Um, Had to be. Second winner. It's hard. It's hard. Huh? I want to watch you, it again. Yeah, I know. But you just got to pick someone. <sighs> Banji, Roxy, Plastique, Gamic, Chanel, Angeria. I almost want to say, okay, who was the one? There's who, no wrong answer, babe. Who this was is the one you like did, uh, Pennywise, sir? Uh, Roxy. I think Roxy. Okay. I under, I see that, for sure. Um, but, but the real winner, Georges and Chanel. Chanel was who again? Exactly. My point exactly. Who was she? She was the like the the mom or like the the neighbor, the one who was going like this. Oh, like oh go oh like she kept going like that <laughs> with her hands. No, I absolutely don't even know who you're talking about. Remember the senior frogs? We saw her at senior frogs, and she stole the lady's money uh-huh. out of her purse. And I thought she was Roxy Andrews. Yeah, n- yeah, yeah. You did. You're like that's Roxy. <laughs> I was like, no, that's Chanel. <laughs> Yeah, no, she was absolutely a nothing character. Yeah. I think it could have gone to Vanjie. I think it could have yeah. gone to Angeria. I think it could have gone to... I think it's gone to anybody yeah. else except for... Shana. I literally sat up even in got my Mick. chair. Even when they, got Mick. Yeah, a lot of people were saying Mick. I, I don't was think like, Mick could have, should have won. I think I think Vanjie. I think Vanjie and Plastique were really good. And I also... This is what also what I, I don't understand. People were like... Seeing that, I saw, okay, I don't know, people, this one man's TikTok, I should say, he was like, that was the best musical ever, and Roxy was, like, the best thing I've ever seen in my life. Like, I can't believe she didn't win, and, like, she was so good. I mean, I thought she was fine. Like, I just think she didn't do the voice right at all. Yeah. Like, the voice was so wrong and so distracting. Everything visually was fantastic, okay? The outfit, the makeup, the dancing, I was there for it. Yeah, but yeah. for me, it was just like the voice was just so not Pennywise. I literally thought it was fucking Nina West. I know. People also were saying that on this. Um, I just saw like someone posted um, just the performance and people were talking about it. And peop- one of the top comments was like, I thought, I thought Roxy, I thought Pennywise was Nina. Yeah. And it had like so many likes. And I was like okay did like nobody watch the episode because in the episode she I know. they give out the roles and she's like oh i want pennywise and they give her pennywise i'm like people clearly are just not watch i mean like you make sense because you didn't watch the episode yeah so i was like okay well yeah and that makes sense that you're saying that but the people who have seen the episode maybe the people are commenting literally are literally dumb. just watching the video and then commenting on the video itself i don't maybe think not so in the full episode i don't think so other just, people um, were like, "Oh, I had to, I had to like rewind. I didn't know who it was." I was like, "She yeah. got the role, and then she was rehearsing as Pennywise." Like, clearly, people are just not watching, but that's doesn't matter. Um. Okay. What else did I want to talk about? Oh yeah, Georgia's eight. So hard. Best part. Like, just absolutely kills it. Yeah, Georgia's absolutely eight. Um. The Sam Smith thing was so random. What Sam Smith? Van- Vanjie, a uh, Sam Smith. I thought, oh, because she was the devil. She, well, yeah, but she was doing his unholy or their unholy look. Why? You know the video for unholy. Mm, not really. With Kim. Daddy's out now. I know the song. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, in the music video, 
they look exactly like Vanji with the all red and like the hat and the corset. Interesting. Maybe she hates him. I don't think that's it. I think they just wanted to do an unholy spoof, which also was like the best song, I thought. The ending song, the holy guacamole. Yeah, it was totally good. It <laughs> and was like, really good. man, she killed it. Like, yeah. she was eating. Uh, very much felt like she was kind of doing herself, though. Like, it was not like Sam Smith, which, like, is hard to do. I can't, I don't even know how you would do that. But yeah. I could just. I, I mean, I, but George was just also Megan. Exactly like her. I think no, Megan. No, she was giving Megan. No, she was giving Megan, but I'm saying it's easy for her because I think she's just, she's such a diva. I don't know. Megan's a diva? And or, George's. Or George's. Yeah. But, like, she was in character the entire yeah, her face. time. Like, it just made sense. But Chanel, just absolute shock to me. I was I, That's when I, I had, I literally and had was to was it supposed to be based off of just the musical, or was it also off a of runway? I mean, uh, that's a question to people have them. been asking forever. You know, does the runway matter? Um, I don't think it matters. I think it matters when it matters, you know, when they want it to matter. Um, or, or if it's or like if a runway challenge. If it's, if it's well, yeah, like, I mean, obviously, if there's a run, if it's a runway challenge. but Or if, like, you know, it's pretty close and then one girl's runway is, like, so much better than the others, then it would go to her. And was but Chanel's severely fierce? People were saying it was good. I thought it was fine. Let me show you. If we, let me see if I can find it. I mean, it was cute. It was not my favorite runway. And he, I, I am a big Chanel was fan, George's you guys. Is- George's this was fine. Um, Mick was really good, I think. Honestly, everyone, I thought everyone looked good. The runway looked good. The runway is probably well, the best stars, part. So. This is her look. Um, and then the lip sync song Oh, sucked. that's Mick come right there. Yeah. The lip sync song was horrible. The lip sync sucked. I was like, this yeah, is. Yeah, I don't love it. Like, George, like, not even George's could save that boring ass song. Like, Who won it? Uh, George's one. Well, Over, you think George is going to lose to Chanel? I know, she's the lipstick queen. Um, oh, and here's also more tea. Chanel doesn't have a batch yet. <gasps> she had So that's why they gave it to her. They bag. gave it to her. Yeah. They gave it to her. And you can tell with, with kind of like the editing too, like it was just like going that way. And I was like, okay, like I see it, but like surely that's not going to happen. Like, Why wouldn't they show her more than? Like they showed so much. Gorgeous. I don't know. If you go back, they, they do show her. A good amount. Of I time. just wasn't paying attention. You for weren't shit. paying attention, yeah, because they do. I you can kind of see a little bit, like in the way that they edited uh, Georges. Oh yeah, because it literally was like, oh well, yeah, she's slaying and they're editing her like yeah. so much. Um. So. so yeah. So um, she had to get a badge. We're getting to the like the last. There's only like a few more challenges. Yeah, and so left. many like I, I remember hearing like at Splash third badge win or whatever. Like three oh, three girls I, have four. That's what I'm saying. And like, there can only be a top. F- there only is going to be a top three. Like how is Chanel going to outbeat any of these girls that have all these other badges? Well, I'll tell you that this. Wait, week, so do the badges have to deal with do with who's going to get to the end? Yeah, whoever has the most bad, who, whichever the top three, four girls or top three, three have the most badges. Um, will lip sync. I think. Yeah. And then what if it's even for four of them? Then they all go. Oh, for four of them? Yeah. Um, well, last time when this, they had the badges for, for all winners, mm-hmm. um, Monet had the most badges. And there was a tie. So they made her pick the uh, the other finalists, basically. It was between, um, That's fucking I think it was between Jada and Trinity. And she chose Trinity. That's sick. I know. But it, but they had like an alliance going, so it like, it made it sense. made sense that she would make. And there were well, twinners, yeah. Then there's absolutely no way she. I mean, so why I, even I, give her one? Is I my don't know thing. how. I don't know if that they're gonna do that this time. If there is a tie, I probably not. But why but. even give her one if it's already a lost race? Like, yeah. how many more episodes are there? She'd have to win the next three. Yeah, I don't know, but but RuPaul did like come into the workroom. I think at the beginning of this episode or maybe the episode before i can't remember and she was like there is a way for each one of you to still win and i'm like this is bullshit Uh, like uh, they're doing that for the losers i know like stop meddling just like make it fair let the winners win let the winners win don't 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 go at the very end and give out three badges at once that's what they did for for all winners 
Shay, Shay got three stars at the very end, so then she made it to the top four. That's literally, oh my God, this sounds like the riggery from motherfucking yeah, Mario Party. The, the last one. This is Mario Party. Literally, the last challenge they did, they got three stars for it, and it was like. This is like the cheater stars. So, so if this person wins one challenge, they're going to get three stars versus somebody who wins three challenges right. and gets three, three weeks badges. Three in a row. It just makes All trumped no out by one. Sense. And it's like, Drag Race has always been this way. But I think really maybe just as it, I get huh? older, I just like I just like notice it more. I'm just like this is they're putting the reality TV in reality TV, like you know it's not a competition show. This is not fucking Jeopardy. You know this is not. Um, but that's not fair. It's not Deal or No Deal, which I believe is real. Please. Um, yeah, it's literally it's not fair. Like it, at least in Mario Party, there's a way to turn the <laughs> cheater stars off. But in RuPaul, there ain't no way. Yeah. Like. All of a sudden, at the end of <laughs> the, the the game, when they make the stars, like, you can buy two at the one station and stuff. And it's like, yeah. this ain't fair. <laughs> it's like, so we're just throwing the rule book out the window, Literally, aren't we? Literally, the last few rounds, it's just a fucking, just crazy, huh? Yeah. And so, they did have charity badges this week. And they had done it once before, like, earlier in the season. So, the top two girls will get a, a badge and then a badge to give away to their That's sister. That's so fucked. And so... My thought when they did this last time, I was like, okay, well, why don't they just give it to each other? Yeah. Like, they're two winners. And I was like, okay, well, they, there's probably rules against that. But then this week, Chanel and Mick they gave each other their badges. So so they both got two badges? They both got two badges. And I'm like, what is this loophole? Like, what? You're just going to – why Why are they allowed to just give each other their badges? I'm like – Also, like – It doesn't make any sense. I'm like, obviously – it makes sense for production, you know, and they, they want them to get two, two more badges. But it's just like, I mean, for Chanel, I don't think it's going to matter. That's crazy. But now Mick has, I don't know. I don't know how many badges. She, I don't think she has four, does she? Wait, I, I thought know. you said this was Chanel's first badge. It was, but now she has two. Oh, but I thought you said George's was top. Oh, was I saying Mick? Yeah. Uh, I meant Georges. Okay. I meant Georges. So jo they gave, that's fucked. So now she has two. Oh, that's two. why I was like, wait, I was like, no, Mick doesn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was Georges. Whoa. Yeah, I that's hate it. That's wild. I hate it. And I mean, it was a fine episode, but like, I just was just like, so confused. And then the lip sync sucked. And I was like, ugh. Like, I mean... And most of the lip syncs low key have like not been good this season, except for last week with Roxy's. Last week was incredible. I think I showed you that one, Roxy versus Plastique. Oh yeah. Oh my god, I could talk about that forever. Okay, I think I need to move on because I'm just gonna keep getting heated. Um, but um, anyways, Team Roxy. It's Roxy and Juice all the way, guys. For the win? Really? Yes. Oh, yes, for me. Um, or, I mean, I, I was thinking um, Plastique. Plastique is actually killing the season so hard. But I think her, her uh, the thing she's playing for, her charity that she's playing for is, like, problematic or something. People are like, oh, thank God she hasn't won any money yet. She hasn't won a lip sync. That's what I'm talking about. So, Loki don't want her to win, but I'm like, but if I want her to win, I want her to win. I don't really care about the charity. <laughs> I, mean, I literally don't care about this. I mean. What if it's like donating to like Israel? Well, then, yeah. Then I would, I don't think that's what the the charity is. It's the, eight, it's like an, it's it's like a, I wish I could, I could know for you guys, but I, I can't, I can't look it up. I can't Google. <laughs> oh, I can't go on Twitter for that. I'm sorry. But um, it's Roxy, I think. That's what I'm talking about. Which I'm low key surprised. You by. should come to Splash for the finale. I she she's she basically won last week, um, or she she is my winner pick after last week. Like the lip sync, I was just like, oh, oh no, Mama, like give her the crown. Like I just call it, <laughs> just call it. I mean, Mick's been doing good, but this the joke stealing. That was so fucking terrible. I even, I knew about that. Oh, yeah. I was about to ask, you, you, did you see I, the video? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I saw the video talking about her stealing the jokes before I even saw it, like, broadcast that splash. Oh. I feel like I saw a spoiler. 
Wait, I'm like, how? I don't know. I think it was like someone. That can't be because how would that? How would someone no. edit it that quickly? I'm telling you, I saw it before I even went into Splash because I remember, I remember the roast was about to happen, and I said to Zach, I said, "Yeah, I already heard she she steals almost all of her jokes from from someone else," and I knew it before I saw it. I swear to God. Giving Raven Baxter. It's not. I. I the think way this someone is blowing the hottest. Oh, air. it's so hot. <laughs> Our little like, fans. Like, like I. I girl. <coughs> like it's bad, but like. It's a nice. Breeze, I'm not kidding. But. Like I definitely like I seen it edit like a spoiler. I believe you. It was. It was so bad, and her delivery was so bad. Her delivery just, was so bad. Her delivery was so bad. I'm like, you're literally stealing stealing jokes from from, from famous comedians. How are you from, bombing this what's bad? Her name? You guys know who we're talking about. Yeah, you look it up. Nikki Glaser. <laughs> like you're literally gonna steal jokes from Nikki Glaser, and they're and then you're not gonna win the challenge. That is so sad. Like and she put her own pooter twists on it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like it was Nikki bad. Glaser only delivers, you know, hits, Mama, and then you you can't even win a roast at RuPaul's Drag Race. <laughs> like what? It was so terrible. Um, okay, okay, okay. I have some other things I need to talk about. Uh, um, I need people to stop saying big back. Um, I agree. Have you seen that video of Delta Work talking about it? No. Uh, oh my gosh. I love She's, her. She, I know, I don't want to say she never misses because sometimes she says some things that I'm like, what the fuck? But she has so much wisdom to give. And the way she talks about it, she's like, she basically is goes, she's like, well, where do we draw the line of calling someone big back and calling them like, like, just like, just badass. Just, yeah. Or like she, she used an example. She was like, she was like, when do we just talk, start calling people like brown skin neck? True. And she's like, hey, brown skin neck. How are you? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, it killed me. I mean, it's true. But. Big back needs to end, and I, I I don't think there's a way to block a sound on TikTok, but they need to make it so I can block that big back, big back. Yeah, I hate it. Big, big back, back, big back. back. I hate Going it. Going to get snacks because you're so fat <laughs> and you can't eat, you can't walk or something. And it's like, it's just people aren't using it in a good way. Because I'm no, all it's about it's all offensive. I'm like all I want fatties to use it. You want fatties to use the word big back? No, I mean, if anything, I want fatties on the sound, not fake fatties. Exactly. It's like it's like a skinny-ass person being like, oh, I'm such a big back. I got wings up today. I'm like. Girl, just what? call yourself, okay, I'm such a fat ass. Like, just say it. I know. If like, you want to be I fucking rude and call yourself a like, fat ass. I'm like, are you really using that word? Like, people are really trying to make that happen. Like, what? I've heard one of, I've heard a coworker. You've heard someone say big back IRL? I've heard a coworker call themselves a big back in front of me. <laughs> And I was like, like, you want to talk about big backs? Come take I mean, a look at mine, I, bitch. I'm not, like, offended. I mean, and I'm not saying other people can't be, but, like, for me, it's not, like, offensive. It's just, like, it's just cringy. It's just, like, why Oh, are I you find it offensive. Oh, you do? I find it offensive. Oh, really? It's just, like, people trying to joke when, again, like Delta was saying, it's, it, it's just another way to make fun of fat people. Yeah. That's definitely what it feels and like. And so, yeah, I don't like it because I have a big back. Show us. I, I can't because I'm such a big back. I can't. <laughs> it's physically impossible right now. Yeah, and it's sweaty, I'm sure. I'm dead. Because I'm such a big back. Um, um, yeah, I agree with that. Get rid of it. Um, the dissolving swim short prank is not a joke. Yeah, it's not funny. It's not joking, and I and seriously have no idea what the joke is. It could cause some real issues. Especially, like, I understand if you're in your own backyard, maybe. Like, that's one thing. And it's also not another thing to do it without recording it, but to literally do it to then just record. <laughs> like, what are you doing? You just, so, like, what, I seriously don't understand what's funny about it. And then it's the worst part is when they're in public. I haven't you're seen a, any in public. You're in a public beach or and public like who, pool. And who wears underwear underneath their swim trunks? Like, um, No all the one. Time. So then they're literally I mean, I just naked in public, and the person behind the camera is just like, hee hee. You're naked. <laughs> I'm like, they could get a ticket right now. I know. Like, it's gross. Like, indecent exposure. All of a sudden, your husband's on a sex registry list. Boom. Like, and also just to be on the receiving end of it, I'd be so angry. Don't ever do I'd that to pissed. me. I'd be pissed. Also, 
I'm aware it's probably like some of them are probably, you know, just fake, obviously. Like, but even then, I hate I hate fake videos too. Yep. I just like to hate a lot. Sorry. Yep. Sorry, guys. Welcome if you're new. You see I jo- love to hate. You see JoJo's merch with the the wrench with the two balls on the bottom of it? Why? Got you. Got you. Uh, is it cute? Hell no. It's supposed to be like a dick. People are making fun of it. Yeah, people don't understand why she would have a dick. You see that girl at, the, at, at her concert going like this, flipping her off? No, that's hilarious. She was like looking at the camera and she was like going like this to her on stage. Maybe it wasn't real. Maybe it wasn't real. Maybe I got, <laughs> maybe, you got mousetrap maybe news. Maybe I got mousetrap news. You're like, it doesn't, or she took it down. She It wasn't from her. Oh, well then who cares? It was like fan made merch? No. You said it wasn't from her. No, it wasn't on her Instagram. What? I mean, it wasn't off of her, her TikTok. What? What? <laughs> drop it. You drop it. I don't care about wrenches. Oh, my God. It was fake. Y'all. Not I've you. been mousetrap <laughs> news. Wow. You're only, what, 22 and you're falling for fake shit. Wow. Almost 22. Yes. You're not 22? You're going to be fi- feeling 22. You thought I was turning 23? No, I forgot your birthday's coming up. Yes. Um, fuck Case Defy. Um, I want to de-influence you guys. Do not buy a Case Defy case. If, if you Do not to sponsor laugh. us. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I guess I'm just throwing out my case of my future case if I collab uh, out the window, but I don't really care because look at collab. this. Collab. This is not an old phone case. I mean, it's probably maybe a year. I can't, I don't know. That's old. Is it old? I mean, why, why should a phone case break? I understand there's like normal wear and tear, like sure. Mine are breaking at but the But it corners. literally... Wait, where is it? Oh, it's on the side. <laughs> it literally, the, the plastic piece is lifting off on the side right here. And this isn't my first time that this has happened to a case of my case. I thought the first time it was like a fluke. Oh, oh no. So, well, why'd you get the same so one? So then, so it just always breaks. Mine's done that af- too. After time. My, mine, mine has done that too. My, I think we're almost done. Um, um, I don't, I don't know. My cow one did the same thing. My cow print one did the same exact thing. Hey, Safai, I need you to Count stand up. Count your motherfucking days. Stand up and, and, and Fix addre- this. address this problem. Fix this, case Safai. Because I don't want to buy a new one. I don't want to. You it- look on the website to see if they'll replace it. Should I? Yeah. I'd way rather just sit here and complain on the internet. And, Hopefully And have all you guys it. listen. I I, I don't know if I actually want them to fix it. I mean, I'd like that to happen, but Donald I don't want I don't want to have to email them or anything. I just want their products to actually work, okay, and not break. So, um this will be my last phone case from them. Yeah. That's for damn sure. Yep. Uh, what's the deal with Michael Jackson these days? He's dead. What is the deal? He's like, dead. F- so finding Neverland drops what? Like Six seven years ago, I mean, it, that that thing's old, right? He's only been dead six years. No. Wait, isn't it called Finding Neverland? Am I dumb? The fuck are you talking about? Wait, no, Finding Neverland. That's that that's the movie with Johnny Depp. Yeah. Oh, it's called Leaving Neverland. Okay, so Leaving Neverland drops in 2019. So how long ago is that? Five years. I was close. And we just make a Broadway musical about him. And like, what, this? Let me see. See what? Oh, you never seen the doc? You've never seen this? No. Oh, my God. It's crazy. And we still have what? Oh, we still don't have a musical is what you're saying. We have a new musical on Broadway. Oh, nice. About this? (laughs) No. What the fuck? What do you mean about this? Oh, it's about and we have, Michael Jackson. And we have a Michael Jackson. Yes. Oh, so this is exposing him. Yes. 
He slept with little boys. <laughs> and no one cares. I mean, I know that this um, documentary is like heavily criticized and people don't believe the victims. But it's like... I believe victims. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. I believe victims too. And people are, people have like gone to like extreme extent to like debunk some of the things, you know, alleged and said in, in the documentary. But it's just like, I mean, so what? Their memories were a little fuzzy. They were literally like kids. P- police getting- raided Neverland in t- 2003 following allegations that Jackson had molested teenage cancer victim <laughs> Gavin or Ar- our I wasn't laughing that that was not a, that was they like a found, scoff. that was they found a hidden room connected to the back of a closet yes. in the star's bedroom pictures revealed creepy dolls lining a small staircase down into the okay well that doesn't clandestine creepy chamber. dolls I mean they're probably just dolls <laughs> like no uh, there's a whole pedo lair yes that's what I'm saying and every time I hear people talk about him, I'm just kind of like, so what's the deal? Like, we haven't reached a consensus on this, And we're doing this, right? a musical. It's like we did a musical about Cosby. <laughs> like, what? That's what I'm saying. I just, I don't, I'm or not. like Jeffrey Epstein. And I'm not well, angry or about mad that. about it. I just, maybe I'm just not, maybe I'm misinformed. Maybe Finding Neverland's been completely, Finding Neverland, Leaving Neverland has been completely debunked. But. Um, I don't care. I believe the, it. You should watch it. I mean. I'm sure it's entertaining. It's, I'm sure it's good. It's crazy. Like, and they they have the kids, like two of them, in the documentary. You should watch Tell Them You Love Me. <gasps> Is it spooky? Yes. The documentary? Yes. What's it called? It's a doc- tell, tell Them You Love Me. Tell Them the Babysitter Is Outside. Tell Them You Love Me. You can't <laughs> type. Your name is Darian. You love me. You are D-Man. Please leave the back door open because I am coming home late. Please leave open the back door because I need you to tell them you love me. <laughs> to type. Quietly type. type because you cannot Neverland. type. But this leaving see. Neverland is the best documentary <laughs> here on out. Therefore, I will always be telling them, tell them you love me. Alana Glazer. Alana please, Glazer, please, babe. Please type outside the door. Outside the door. The hold the door. Guy of Thrones. <laughs> Rainy dies tonight. <laughs> Rainy Rodriguez, Fiesta Salsa, Kiansa <laughs> de Skinner. Rico Rodriguez, King of Modern Family, outside typing today. Yeah, so it's called Tell Them You Love Me, <laughs> and it's about this, this like, teacher, like... Oh! Who, yes, who, who was helping this student with assisted typing... In in remember you know about it right? <laughs> wait no, about no 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 wait no so it's about this is this the May December one? No, no this is different. <laughs> no we watched May December. Okay okay. No so this is about this like occupational therapist who a man or a woman woman who is an aide to this highly or l- very low functioning autistic no, man. No 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 I have heard this I have this about and it and they, they use that thing called like um. Assisted typing, yes, yes, yes. assistive typing, yes. assistive oh, and you watched language. It? Yeah, I watched it with mom. It's fascinating. Very, <laughs> very, very, very fascinating. I'm, you should watch it. I love and documentaries. The woman, the woman, um, was delusional. Basically, this was an old type of uh, aid that basically that they would help hold up a, a person's arm who was. Unable to communicate with la- their, you know, with their voice language, like verbally, unable to communicate <laughs> right. verbally. Yes. So, but they thought that they had enough function in their brain to be able to communicate through typing. Well, you know how some autistic people are. Yeah, they're just nonverbal. Non- but or not autistic, but nonverbal people who will use like iPads, things like yeah, that, to communicate. to communicate. So this was like before iPads were a thing, before this was all a thing. So they had a keyboard basically, and they would put. Hold the person's arm and supposedly hover around until they they type. they kind of they make a motion to want to press it down. Apparently, he was able to communicate, and it started out him not very being not being very good at spelling or you know you anything. Oh, I, 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 yeah, yeah. I would never be able to communicate like that. 
What? <laughs> and, and it would be hell. And if you were nonverbal? Yes. If I had to type out everything. Okay. Well, being nonverbal, having a disability is n- not a death sentence. Okay. Listen, I never, I'm not saying that. We're all going to be disabled if we live long enough. So listen. Think about that. I know. So listen. She, she helps him and apparently helps him so yeah, much. She they starts get married. Going, he starts going to school. She takes him to school and stuff. And then they start developing a relationship. Apparently they fuck multiple times. And then it's really sad. she has them tell she's that's why it's called tell them you love me. Ooh. But, is that like a real quote? Uh, uh probably. They have a lot of transcripts, like actually from the thing they were using, it was all recorded. Ooh. So a lot of the conversations are actually like verbatim. Um so um This that, is blowing the hottest air at me right now. But um, <laughs> I have to say it again. Basically, like, it also has been debunked. So basically they did a test and they would show Right, it's like phony. It's like they, a, not a real not real. They would show the major Delulu vibes. They would exactly. They <laughs> would show, they would show the the aide one picture. They would show the patient, the person, a different photo, and they would see which one it would, which one it would be. Oh, and they caught them. And they caught almost every time it would be whatever they showed. Boom. Whatever they showed the aid. Yeah. Like sometimes they would show like the apple same. And some, then, yeah. Or but tree. Then they show the other person like a banana. Yeah. And they, it's something like something like that. And like sometimes they would show tests. both, or sometimes they would show one or the other. But basically, it had been totally debunked. They didn't know it. And well, I think after the fact. But right. basically, she had been making up this crazy relationship in her head this whole time. God, she needs help. And she ended up. Uh, going to jail for it, obviously. Thank God. Um, but she was so delusional and is still so severely delusional. She is in the documentary herself. Oh, there's your twist, Mama. She is so delusional. I was like, she, wh- 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 where are we going? She still believes that they had a relationship that was consensual. So she like tries to like defend herself. Yes, she the, probably just yes, makes herself look yes, even worse. Yes, <laughs> yes, she makes herself look even more crazy. She's like. Oh, like he's so handsome or whatever. Like, you should watch it. You should watch it. Because that's all stuff you know about going. Yeah, you know I, all I, that I've seen before. about it on TikTok. Exactly. Yeah. So you can, there's still a lot of early interesting stuff. I've seen in about it. the woman in the UK who like, who was a teacher and. Oh, who and was selling vapes to? No, no. <laughs> no, she was like she was like having sex with like underage boys. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, that's why there was this other girl, I this mean, other I, teacher, this woman teacher around. I don't know, somewhere in California, somewhere in the United States, who was trading vapes for sexual acts from oh, wait, I think little I boys. I see something like from that. From little boys. They were, she was exchanging vapes and alcohol for... That's so horrible. It was, how terrible. It's like, what a terrible look for women. Like, <laughs> can't we just leave all that to men? I know, and people take it, they, they put it on Twitter and they're like, not a drag queen. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not, not a gay person, yeah. but a cis woman. woman yeah. I love when they do that. Yeah, <laughs> like, I know. Eight. <laughs> yeah, literally eight that, eight that, <laughs> eight that, up, eight that, eight that, eight that, eight that, that up. up. Um, yeah. cats on the counter, yay or nay? Nay. Really? I mean, I'm not. There's nothing I can do about it, but I think nay. I would like to be able to set a piece of toast on the counter and no, no fucking cat feet have been on there. So if there were no cats in the house, you would just put a piece of toast on the counter. Absolutely. That's so weird. Like. Because my argument is like, cats on counters, yay, because I'm never preparing food on the bare, you know, countertop. Hello. I put everything on a plate, like a civilized person. Who's who's cutting up their sandwich on a, just on. I'm thinking or, of or, like or a piece of toast. Sa- like, I'm making a piece of toast. I know, but I'm I, talking about the people who are like, oh, that's so nasty to let your cats on the kitchen counter. Like, how could you do that? Like, I could never do that in my house. You're So you're you're eating off your counters? Is that what you're doing in your own home? Because in my house, I put, I mean, I can't imagine something I would, a, a, a food item I would just put straight on the counter unless it was in some sort of packaging, you know, that would protect it, like an Uncrustable or something. <laughs> but I, if I'm making a sandwich or I'm, you know, I'm cutting up an apple or something. Okay, wait, maybe cutting up an apple. What the hell? 
You would not cut up an apple. Uh, well, yeah, there's, yeah. Wait, 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 what? I would never cut up an apple? No. Just period? Or you mean like period. on the counter? I mean period. <laughs> that is but so shady. On the Bitch, counter? You look like you wouldn't cut an apple. I never said you don't look like you would. I just said you wouldn't. Well, you look like you wouldn't. <laughs> You look like you've never even set foot in our kitchen. Cause you I know, door-dash, I'm so skinny. Because you door dash everything. I know, I'm so fucking skinny. It looks like you're always on the f- on the front porch waiting for your door dash. Shut up. I'm kidding. I'm done. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Honestly, you're, you're not that rich. You can't, you can't have door dash all the time. I'm done. You're getting ramen. You're making ramen. Um, okay, yeah, cat's on the counter. Um, I just don't you understand. You already said your piece. I, I did, but like, I just need the people who are so adamant about it that are like, oh, it's so... N- it's... It's so, hey Mike, hello. <laughs> it's all in my head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, y'all. No, this up. has been an amazing. It's been an hour. <laughs> Me just now realizing my fan's gonna be like in the audio recording. Is that how loud it was the whole time? Yeah, bitch. I don't care, though. I needed it. I actually probably would have passed out otherwise. <laughs> um. Okay, 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 okay. Name this song. <clears throat> you already tried earlier. Ba-da. Wait, how's it go? How's it go? How's it go? Bum, 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 <laughs> something with the Wii. Does it sound familiar at all? No. It doesn't sound familiar. Oh, it doesn't sound really familiar at all. Not very. Like I, I, in my head, like if someone were to do that in front of me, I'd be like instantly. I'm like, can you guys guess it? Do it again. Let me do this one. <laughs> no, do the the same okay, one. Okay. You're, you're better pro- though. You're probably not gonna. What? Do it like it actually sounds. There's no way it sounds exactly like that. Well, there it's not. It's not a bum. It's actually like a. Huh? <laughs> Do it then. No, it's not. Uh, I mean, uh, it, it's music. Uh, it's not someone uh, singing. Uh, you know, and it's definitely not on a bum. Bum 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 bum. Wait, hold on. Wait, okay. wait hold on. Uh, 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 uh 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 Stop, I almost got I'm it. I'm getting kind of like the notes, you know, it's hard to like really get those um, notes really um, perfect. Um, 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 um. Uh-uh. Lock in your answers, you guys. Do it again, do Reveal it again. coming in three, two, one. Oh wait, you want me to do it again? Do it one more time. Oh my god. Bum 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, I think my mouth just farted. Bum, 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 bum. It's from The Amazing Race. Oh. It's the opening to The Amazing Race. Yes. That's why I was going, bum, bum, bum. Because it kind of goes higher than if I'm feeling like. I know. I was kind of fucking it up. Yes. Guys, <laughs> I need to go wipe my forehead. Probably change my t-shirt and turn on my AC bad. And play some Fortnite real bad. So, but thank you guys so much for joining us. If you want an extra video a week, you're going to want to head over to our Patreon where we do smoke sessions behind the episode for each episode. So head over there. And if you're on YouTube, please, please, I need one second, one second. Ten comments. I need one second. I need 32 baddies to subscribe because we need to hit 100 subscribers. Like, how haven't we reached it yesterday? I don't know. Please. So, please like, subscribe, comment wherever you're watching. But if you're on YouTube, please subscribe. And if you're listening on Spotify, head on over to our YouTube and subscribe there. Why don't you? Allison, anything else to say to our beautiful, lovely, adorable fans? I love you for watching, and this has been for Willow. (gasps) This was for Willow. I miss that queen. (laughs) Wrong button.
I'm riding the subway. Riding with people. Uh, up in Harlem, down woo. on Broadway, you're no champ. But you're this no feels really good. No splash tonight? Talk, uh, no. Why no splash for Willow? I don't know. I think Willow will want me to stay in. Willow would want you to go out for sure. Yeah, well, I don't know. Willow would absolutely want us to play Fortnite, though. And Willow would absolutely want you guys to subscribe. Well, that's for damn sure. See you next week. Bye. Bye.